Hello, welcome to the In Memoriam Kara Lichtneck discussion. I'm Mrs. Morin, and I'm here with Mrs. Wyatt. And um, let's go ahead and let's begin by talking about the um, the artist. So this would be Kalovitz or Kalovitz. How, how do we pronounce that? I would say Kalovitz. <laughs> Kalovitz, Kalovitz. I'm not sure which one it is. Um, and then historical period would be modern. And um, this is a technique known as woodblock print. So, Mrs. White, would you like to go ahead and talk about the purpose? Yes. Um, let's, let's switch back and let's go ahead and talk about the media. Oh, okay. okay. And um, let's talk about why she would, uh, why would any artist? Mm -hmm. want to use a woodblock print. Yeah. Uh, we have seen it before. Um, it was very popular back in medieval times mm -hmm. and really popular in Japan. And the whole idea of the print is multiple copies and things that can be reproduced really easily. Mm -hmm. And so printing is definitely something for the masses. And I'm sure that artists were using it for that purpose. Mm -hmm. And if we take into account the political, um, you know, parties and things of the time, trying to get information out, it was ideal for uh, these communist and socialist groups. Yes, and for people who don't have a lot of money. Mm -hmm. Because you don't have to have a press yes, to, do, yeah, to do woodblock. Yes. You it, can just do a handful. Yes, and that's that's basically you know why this was idea for communism and socialism because it is about the working class with those two groups. Absolutely. So they're not trying to give this to the elite, the social elite. It's Correct. for the people. Um, now, um, do we also want to talk about why she would choose specifically woodblock instead of something um, like intaglio or some sort of engraving? Yes. I think it's a good time to talk about why she would choose that specific media. Yes. Uh, so basically, she could have done an engraving, kind of like what we've seen with Durer. Yes. Um, but instead, what she did was she chose woodblock because um, it was very popular at the time. It captured this kind of rough um, and emotional part of humanity. So all of those... Uh, beautiful carved lines into the wood. They created um, those marks. Yes. The lines, um, the marks were create, uh, create, ooh, <laughs> made this wonderful um, sense of rhythm and emotion and um, really guide your eye throughout the entire piece to look at each and every one of their faces and feel what they're feeling. Yes, the hand. Mm -hmm. The hand that's placed on his chest, the, the way that everybody is, it kind of goes light, dark, light as it moves up, mm -hmm. and therefore it's pushing things forward and pulling things back, mm -hmm. and it's definitely making faces stand out, mm -hmm. because she's actually taking all those bodies of the mourners up front and making them so dark that they seem... They uh, tend to regress back into the painting mm -hmm. to where it's all about the people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the emotion. Yes. It makes it feel alive. All of it those does. Lines. Everything's moving. And it's wonderful. Um, the, so the reason why she created this work um, was because she was commissioned by the family of um, Lichnick. Lichnick? I think that's how you pronounce his name. I would say leave that. <laughs> uh, after he was assassinated during an uprising in 1919, a communist uprising. He was a communist. She was not a part of the same political party. Um, but she agreed to do this be, because she, um, she had a lot of respect for him and the people that followed him. So... This was about, not really about communism. This was about the people who cared about him. Yes. And the loss. Yes, and the loss that they yes. they all suffered after he died. Yeah. And 
the um, intended audience, we've already talked about that, um, the um, followers of communism and socialism at the time would have been uh, working class. So this is yeah. meant for the working class. So um, that's pretty much everything we've covered here. Thank you for watching.